Hello all. This tutorial will demonstrate how to draw an elevation from the floor plan in AutoCAD. According to a video from the National Design Academy. An elevation is a view from the side of an object when drawing interior elevations, this would represent one of the walls. This would include any windows or doors as well as any built-in furniture that is in direct contact with the wall. Additionally, the designing building's wiki informs. The term elevation refers to an orthographic projection of the exterior, or sometimes the interior, faces of a building, that is, a two-dimensional drawing of the building's facades. In this tutorial, students will draw an interior elevation based on Eames House, House Area, Section CC Drawing, the plan west elevation in the living room. Students will not draw a section. You will need to understand the concept of elevation and will draw only interior elevation. Step 1. Decide an elevation view. Step 2. Draw the outline of the elevation by using X-line. This process is to draw the boundary of the elevation. Step 3. Rotate and relocate the section view CC from the inserted image to match the boundary of the elevation. You will need to rotate 90 degree clockwise. Step 4. Rotate the copied floor plan and the inserted image to 90 degree counterclockwise. The reason for this step is to draw the elevation quickly. It typically takes less time to draw the elevation in the right direction, up north, down south, left west, and right east. Step 5. Remove the elements that are not needed from the copied floor plan. Make sure you saved the original floor plan. You only delete the elements in the copied floor plan. Step 6. Now you can draw the elevation. Draw floor level and ceiling level, 8-1 above finished floor. Typically, an interior elevation expresses interior elements only. You don't draw wall thickness, window cut, ceiling structure, and roof structure. Change the lines for the wall ends, floor level, and the ceiling level from zero layer to ALWT section layer. Switch the layer to ALWT object. Draw wall and furniture by using line. P line. Circle. Fillet. Trim. If needed, switch the layer to ALWT surface. Draw anything that is not important in terms of construction. Step 7. Add dimensions and opening for more information. On the application status bar, switch the scale to 3 slash 8 equals 10. Type dim. And press enter. To open dimension style manger. Click Annotative 332. Click Set Current. Click Close. Type Dim. And press Enter. To add dimensions. 
you will need to click the first extension line origin. Click the second extension line origin. Specify dimension line location. Repeat this process to add dimensions for the casework. Step 8. Make a block for the elevation. Select the elevation, including lines, and dimensions. Type B. Press Enter. To open block definition. Define the name 000 underscore elevation A. Click OK. To finish the command. Step 9. Organize your drawings. Move the inserted, Reference images to 75 plan north. Move your section and elevation on the right side of the floor plans. I hope this tutorial clarifies how to draw interior elevation based on a floor plan and a reference image. Thank you.